I knew at the time because obviously I'm close with Eric's team or Air App, the YouTube channel. Um, I knew at the time they were wanting to throw this pizza party and I knew that they didn't have a sponsor. Um, they tried to reach out to Pizza Hut uh, quite a few times and they'd failed. So I was like, hmm, what if I actually reach out to Pizza Hut and somehow actually get them to sponsor the event? Again, random idea, great idea in, in you know, thought mm. or in execution, actually very hard. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. And I spent quite a few months. It, the video was actually kind of told backwards to make it more entertaining. So I sat down for two months and emailed people. That was how. And after like two months of emailing, <clears throat> I was calling the headquarters. I was um, obviously just emailing like CEOs and all these people. And then one of my friends mentioned LinkedIn. They were like, there's this like business app where, you know, you can ke- connect and message people. So I was like, I'll try anything. Paid for a membership on there. And it was the C- uh, no, the CMO, sorry, the chief of marketing on LinkedIn that ended up responding. And she just said, she basically said, we'd like to learn more. So at that point, I was like, oh, she's actually read my message. Mm, that's uh, I incredible. Sent her, I sent her like a huge paragraph back of all the information and didn't hear from her for like two weeks. So I was like, damn, I'll double message her. Maybe she just didn't see it in her inbox. And her response, is, uh, her response was that she had started direct messaging uh, Air App or oh, Eric, mm. which I didn't realize at the time because he didn't know I was doing the video. It was supposed to be a surprise. So I was, I was like, oh, I was, I was confused at first because I was like, wait, have, has maybe he started messaging her? Maybe like, maybe I just didn't know. And then, yeah, like the day after they started following him on Twitter and then my friend Tyler, who like uh, spends a lot of time with the guys was like, oh, they, they just reached out to him. Mm. Um, and said it like someone randomly reached them, reached out to them on LinkedIn. So I was like, oh yes, it was big. So like as soon as I heard that, like they, I don't think they'd started talking yet or anything. I booked a flight to Texas because I was like, damn, I can make a video out of this now. Started protesting on the headquarters, um, and then it was actually after we got kicked off the headquarters that night that I got a call from Tyler saying that they'd like sealed the deal like they'd they'd been in talks and like everything was confirmed and happening so that was a lot of fun I flew back home and then chatted with Eric and then it was like six months of a lot of changes a lot of uncertainty a lot of flying between countries a lot of waiting around a lot of planning and organizing uh for then yeah six months later they broke the Guinness World Record for the largest pizza that's crazy. And it was pizza Hut pizza. <laughs> pizza Hut pizza is the best yeah. pizza. Like, yeah. <laughs> so good. Uh, okay, so wait. Did uh, so did Eric talk to them or try to reach out to them while you were also trying to reach out to them? No. So they they tried this. I think in the beginning of last year. I think their team and manager they had a few people working on it that uh, I don't know the full details but they tried and just not not got any further with it so I think they'd moved to a different sponsor uh, mm. and they were going to try and find somebody else for the event um, and yeah months passed by I guess and then I started working on it and then yeah LinkedIn is OP it's great <laughs> very OP yeah <laughs> yeah wow okay so you are you you would say you're the reason why that brand deal went through. Uh, yeah, that's what they all tell me. So yeah, I, I, that's crazy. Yeah, it's it's kind of crazy. I I was um I watched the Eric's video on that, and I was kind of surprised that you weren't given any credit by that. Yeah, I I get it too, because it's um I don't know I've done it in videos before where it's maybe a complicated thing to explain. Um. So it's kind of like how how long, especially nowadays in YouTube, how long are a pe- like people's attention spans? Mm. Are they going to sit there and listen for a minute for you to explain this whole thing? So, 
no, I get it, but it's yeah, it comes back to YouTube just being a interesting world, like retention and everything. But no, I've I've had a lot lot of fun doing it though. They gave me like access to the entire event, um, so that was really cool to watch it actually get built and help with it getting built. That was yeah. kind of crazy. It's a lot of fun. 